Hello everyone, welcome back to the Opulent Life. This is Ozzy here again with another perfume review for you guys. And today we are reviewing the Prada La Home La O. And this is a new fragrance that I just purchased. So I decided to do a quick little review for you guys. Uh, so here it is in front of us. The plastic has been removed. And you can see the packaging has um, kind of an indigo blue type color with black at the borders and the blue part has some etching on it, uh, some patterning and it has the home product written on it in silver. It says Milano and if I look closely since 1913, that's since when the brand was established and Milano is their headquarters. It has the seal of Prada on it as well. La O is again written in silver embossed. Um, you know like a plaque basically almost it's an eau de tolly 100 ml 3.4 ounce and on the sides you have the name etched in and kind of embossed in same thing on the left side and right side identical top part is just plain black back again you have the same etching and same patterning and nice nice attractive packaging I'm, i should say you have their you know batch codes and ingredients at the bottom so let's take it out. Yes, your typical perfume packaging, nothing spectacular here. Let's take out the bottle itself. Here it is. Prada La Home La O. And very nice, attractive bottle just from the get-go. You can see very clear fragrance inside this glass bottle. You have the Prada and a seal kind of embossed on to the glass over here it gives us a very nice premium touch and the rest of the bottle is also very interesting you have some almost leather patterning in blue color that's kind of attached to this glass bottle in a curvature so from the top it looks like a semicircle almost and then on the surface that is i like to say the convex surface the convex surface has the pattern blue leatherite material attached to it and Prada Milano is embossed in a subtle fashion at the back if you really notice closely. So yeah, and then the flat surface here has a glass clear liquid visible for you so you can monitor how much fragrance has been used. At the bottom, you just have the batch code and made in, this one is actually made in Spain. And at the top, you have the glass bottle cap sorry not the glass bottle cap the metal bottle cap simple quick lock operation no mag magnets or anything has Prada written on the top and you can see nice heavy cap but easy to take off and the bottle is easy to grip and hold the fact that this surface is convex and this is flat makes it very easy to hold and apply some of the designs can be tricky to use when you're actually using them in practical life, but this one is very practical and very nice. So let's give it a shot, spray it out. Oh, nice atomizer. You can see the good range of the atomizer. Ooh. And immediately, I don't even need to go close to it. I can smell very, the, it's a very powdery fragrance. I can tell it's got some iris and wood notes in it. And, uh, I'd let, I'm gonna let it dry down a little bit, but yeah, the top notes are very strong, powdery, iris, woody, and uh, you know, it's, it's an, I wouldn't call it a marine fragrance, it's definitely on the woody side, but definitely has those powder, linen type of notes in there, and very kind of like earthy feeling. I don't think I would recommend heavy spraying of this fragrance, you know, just maybe one or two shots is good enough and i can imagine it has a very good lasting power uh so let's see what else is there i'm just giving it some time to kind of settle in so guys i got this from um fragrance net for around 70 dollars i believe actually no i didn't get it for 70 dollars. i used a bunch of coupon codes and i was able to get it for around 60 dollars this 100 ml fragrance only right now on amazon the gift set is selling for like $84, which I think is great value because the fragrance by itself on Amazon is 
not even available. It's hard to find it. On Fragrance Net, I can find for like $80. I can imagine some coupon codes might bring it down back to the value that I got it for. But it's getting a little uh, difficult to find this particular one. There's La Home, the, the original, the La Home Intense. So they, they have like other lines coming in uh, as well for this. It's, it's, it's a successful lineage and people do like it. So, but this particular one uh, can be tricky to find sometimes. So yeah, I'm just letting it settle in. Now I can set, I, I can sense some violet and citrus notes in it. Uh, possibly some earthy amber as well, really deep into the base. I would not classify this as a blue fragrance. This is more on the woody, masculine, more on the stronger end. I won't call it classic strong, but like, you know, modern classic strong is the vibe I'm getting. It is very strong, you know, maybe use it with caution in office situations, uh, you know, possibly, you know, daytime or evening formal events, small puffs, you know, more of a, late summer to fall type of fragrance i should say i they, they recommend spring but i i don't think this is great for spring to be honest late summer early fall winter you know daytime early evening i wouldn't classify this as even maybe a nighttime fragrance i think more like you know early evening late afternoon uh, yeah formal setting it's not super casual maybe you know like uh, business casual however use with caution in office situations this was made, this is a recent fragrance made in 2017 by uh, daniela andrea and the top notes you know if you go into the specifics the top notes really are neroli and ginger it's not a very complex fragrance i don't sense a lot going on so at the top you have some neroli ginger that's contributing to the iris and powdery fragrance that you get and then you know the iris kind of settles into the middle as well with some amber and the base notes are super powdery sandalwood to be specific you know the woody woodiness that i'm mentioning sandalwood is the ingredient that's in there along with some cedar so yeah maybe like total of i think seven ingredients in there total make up this fragrance so not super complex but very powerful i think the siage and the projection is going to be very strong on this one so it is a good buy however i will say that this is not for everyone uh if you're not into powdery fragrances you will not enjoy this if you do not like overpowering woody fragrances maybe this is not your cup of tea now it's still very fresh right now and it's been like two, three minutes since I applied it. I don't think I've gotten to the dry down part yet. So it'll be interesting to know how, note how that, uh, you know, turns out over a long period of uses. But I think this is very, very strong. So yeah, if you're looking for a light, crisp fragrance, this is not the one to go for. Anyway, so that was a quick little review of the Prada La Home La O. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Please do like, share, and subscribe. And, uh, you know, um, you know, looking forward to you guys seeing some more content. We are at 500 subscribers now. So guys, you know, thank you for all your support and viewing. And uh, yeah, I'll try to keep these reviews coming in. Take care. Have a good day. Goodbye.